Congressman Doug Lamborn represents Colorado's 5th Congressional District, and he is on Capitol Hill today. Congressman, we appreciate you being with us. It's good to be with you today, Adam. Yesterday, uh, Congressman, your office told us that you had received faxes, emails, tons of them. In fact, the responses were 30 to 1 against this bailout. Does that still hold true today, even after President Bush's speech to the nation? Like We've gotten, Adam, over 500 calls to our office, and it's running 96% against and only 4% in favor of the plan. Which way are you leaning on this issue now? I know lots of lawmakers discussing different options. Which, which do you prefer at this point? I'm very skeptical about the plan as proposed and strongly leaning against it, although we don't have the final details in front of us, so I can't make a final decision. However, I would like to see a plan with more free market and more conservative principles, like let's say tax breaks for investors so that they step in with their money and the taxpayer is not on the hook. For instance, Warren Buffett put in $5 billion to Goldman Sachs just the other day. That's the kind of private investing that I think the right tax incentives would really stimulate. Is it the amount of money that concerns you here, Congressman? What are some of the questions and concerns that you have about some of the proposals that have surfaced? Adam, that is a huge concern. $700 billion is such a large amount of money. Once again, I would like to see, uh, let's say also there is a capital gains moratorium for a year or two. That would flood the market with money. I mean, there are proposals out there that we're really not looking at that harness the energy and the creativity of the free market. And we just haven't really seen enough of that. So I don't like the, the imposed plan so far. And I don't think the majority of Congress does either. So I'm, I don't think that the plan as currently proposed is going to survive. Wow.